Just mm. all your options, but yeah. say you like wanted to cast a spell, yeah. it's got it all there. But it's you, the fine. It's 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 it's
We can have it when we get back together after the week off. Yeah. 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 So, so you the, the so you got back from the total perspective, perspective vortex. Yeah. You've had a week doing stuff yeah. and you've arranged to kind of get back together yeah. at the Rose. So we're at the Rose now, so I can tell you the stuff now. I'm just going around the table yeah. for us, see what everybody's been up to for the week. But, but does that, that kind of allude to the stuff anyway? Does that make sense? Yeah, what we'll do is that you've done the stuff, but you'll tell us when we get back to the Rose. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, I had a thing somewhere that gave me what it cost for... My level. Oh, to go up. Uh... With my forte ability, isn't it? What thing is it? Oh, I WhatsApped it to. Oh, that's probably why I can't find yes. it. It's a level. I think I did. I. It was personal. Oh, DM you too. Yeah, so it should be in there. Personal. Personal. She won't put this in the letter. Where is it? I don't know what to do. It's okay. It's okay. It's been really super helpful. Sit, listen, and imagine it's all the stuff. Screw it. Make some little pills for me, okay? Can you do that? I can do it with the crocs that it costs to learn. Okay, it's cool. So I've got all into your crocs. So can you put a pile? Do you know where that one? I have all these ones. One. Where are you looking? Oh, pile I these ones. need and to pile of all those ones. replace that with all those a different um, either ephemera object or incantation. Okay, top. Uh, yeah. Top drawer. Yeah. Does it hold one from it? Yeah. Um, and do you just pick at random? Um, incantations, yes, generally. Ephemera objects, you can go out and buy one, but. I'm not gonna. This is what I don't like about the new cards from Book M. They're just a little bit smaller. Bit yeah. I'm gonna go for a random new one. Um, can I go at both sides of the tree, or do I have to? You, as long as you've got the ones before it. Yeah. You so... can buy both parts of the uh, talent tree. Cool. So yeah, yeah I think I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go up the other Put side. That in there. Mm -hmm. Can you make little piles for me? All those types of nuts piles. So, yeah, <coughs> I might need. So I'm going to get Spirit of the Warrior and Spirit of the Orator. So that takes me up to the same level on the other side of yeah. the thing. Because I like the idea of Spirit of Mage. Which I could get now as well. You can buy as many Forte yeah, I'm gonna do that. levels as you and don't forget for each one you buy you get to add two points to your poolages does this mean i should have two joy two plus two joy right yes because we ran out of them yeah but now with some of those are going to come back because yeah. i've not done them six seven joy Ooh. And uh, 16 oh, acumen. Oh, okay. We need to have some dark no, It's because we don't go to the fox and stuff. And oh, okay. right there. That means joy. So I get to add two to. For each one that you buy, yeah. you add two Bene to any of the pools that you want to boost. Oh, okay. So for me, because I'm putting one, two, three of them, that'd be six. Yeah. Bene. Yes. Did I do that with you? I know you've bought a couple from the ones that you had, so your sorcery pool wasn't that big before, even with your sorcery. Yeah, that's with the sorcery. I don't know. Shut up. No, you're right, I didn't do that, because I did do perception and sorcery and intellect. Cool, so I'll get those, and that's all to do for that, and then I'll find out what they are. So all of these, which are a combination of joys and despairs, Thank you. So it's the type that I joy. And I sort of seem to have two yeah, joy things. You need two joy? Yes, please. Thank you. More serotonin, oh, please. Thank you. <laughs> you may not have serotonin. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, 
That is exactly what I was with. Excuse me. Huh? <laughs> Jungle needs to go on a diet. <laughs> mm. Jungle's doing that, kids. Should I make you a dragonfly necklace as well? I've got some spare ones. I don't know what these do, but I'll have to put a dragonfly on my bracelet. Come on. You don't want it. You don't want them. You're not a quartet. Oh, dear. So, a week has passed and it rolls around to the morning uh, where you've all agreed to meet up at the Rose. You're meeting at what, 11 o'clock? Sort of opening kind of time at the pub? Yeah. I was open earlier than that. This is a good old fashioned establishment. None of your seven till seven Weatherspoon shenanigans. No, no, but to prophetise on uh, people's alcoholism, it opens. It's a 24 hour pub, isn't it? No. No? Nah, 11 o'clock. <laughs> That's about that way you can have the motive to smack it in front of the way. Sorry, first thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Frank. There's always a Frank waiting outside the pub with a copy of the newspaper under one arm. So, um, you're getting up in the morning. Um, Astraeus, um, you get a message in the web. Um, and it is exactly like Charlotte's web. So there's a big, huge cobweb in the corner of, of your bedroom. And when you wake up, and it's the first thing that you see, and the message is really simple. And it just says, how well do you know Mark? Oh. That's your bit of info to take forward. And then off you go to meet up at the Rose. Yeah. So you'll get in and sit down. Um, uh, Eliana's kind of behind the bar, not really woken up yet. It's it's early in the day. Um, she keeps disappearing back in the kitchen because she's experimenting with different flavours of scotch. Tutti frutti scotch has not worked very well. <laughs> <laughs> So you all sit around a table. <laughs> much sorcery. <laughs> How much? I think it's if I want, if I want to use those, then they cost a lot. So. I'm not sure these little things dishes were a good idea. <laughs> I don't know. It's 12. <laughs> yeah. There we go. We did it. I just can help sorcery you. No, I'm just, the same I'm, I'm, I'm just enjoying the juxtaposition of how neat. <laughs> Thomas is in his own health. Yeah. Yeah. We know what my mind's like. <laughs> it's a reflection off. So you all sit sit down around the table and there's a question I've got to ask and I hope I know the answer. Did you invite Caliban? Mummy. Mommy, yeah. yeah. Yes. Or am I just there because I'm living in a pub again? Um you're <laughs> living in the pub as well, but yeah, you're, okay. you're invited. And after the events of the incident, uh you're invited to come and Meet up with everybody the following week. Conspicuous by his absence is Roland. Um, and you're not sure why he's not here. And you would ask Eliana, but she seems a little bit busy and is flitting about at the moment. So you decide to press on at the minute. Can we just send a message to one of these? You certainly can. Hi, Roland, where are you? Sorry. Roland, please can you tell us where you are? That's not how you start messages that appear into Roland's mind. Darkness. <laughs> Hello, Roland. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> yeah, no reply. Oh, Can you sense if people are there? If you're under the same sun. So we can't? You can see if you can sense them. Yeah, how do we do that? Uh, you should have the effects on the card. Oh, you've got, if all you've of got the, um, if you've levelled up your charm to level three, I think it is. 
I've, I've leveled mine up. Uh, how much do you need to? It's point two equal to the level. Right. Mine's at level two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know where this is mine up, but I don't know where to. Didn't you tick it on the card? I know that I've got mine to level three. I need to start going to find some more cameras so I can find them in my house. <laughs> We've got one, but we haven't leveled it up. So we can't use it because it's not at level three. No, I only got to level two. Four. <laughs> Five. I'd like to fully upgrade my uh sweet Hudson, please. You fully upgrade it. What can we do when it's fully upgraded? Uh teleport to other time under the same sun. So <laughs> Let's see if he's even in the same sun. It's in the shadow. This is just where he's like upstairs in bed. <laughs> he's just had a late night. <laughs> so you're trying to teleport? Yeah. Okay. You, you... No, you get the magical equivalent of a, this user is out of the area of coverage. <laughs> Thank you for calling AT&T. <laughs> Going under the sun. We're not going well, he's aware of Rose, it's probably oh, important to all even be for now. He'll tell us when he gets back. He did mention something about going off to do to do goetic in. I'll get some more teeth on my chest. Yeah. I don't. Ah. Ah. We didn't waste it, because we did for them. Yeah, I can teleport to any one of you guys now. At any time. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> one day. <laughs> so. You all sit down, you order yeah. any drinks? Yeah, just sat there with a cup of tea. A mug of coffee. Coffee tea. Tea. Actually, it is a mug of coffee. Coffee tea. It's, it's like. No, no, it's like a toffee fee, but it's got coffee inside it. Like an even more espresso y espresso. Yeah. I'm having an even more espresso y espresso. Honey. Sweetie. Okay, so you're all sat together around the table and ready to share tales of what's been going on. So, um, at the end of, well, last time we were together, coming out of um, Harlequin's mind, when Astraea started off to... Follow the yellow brick road. Excuse me. Um, started off to see where Harlequin might be. Um, I'd noticed that Kelbourne wasn't looking so hot, so um, we had a bit of a chat, and I'll let her say what she wants to say about herself. But um, she also noticed I wasn't feeling so hot, and I don't know if you guys remember about um, my. Bond with the mech that mm -hmm. I had, and actually, I know you guys know that when the um, when the war was going on, these mechs were psych psychopathic, <laughs> so you know, what's the word? Psych psychically shielded. Psychically shielded. There we go. Um, and when I went inside it, I kind of felt like the scales dropped from my eyes, and like shielding had come off of me. And I just brushed it aside from that time, but when we had the um, orbs and the um, lava and then the bits of skin for myself falling off, I've had this niggle that something's wrong and that actually the still world you guys know and love may not be who I am or who I was. Um, but I don't know who I am or who I was yet, but I really want to find out. And I was scared and I've had a chat with Caliburn about it, but I, obviously we've met together and we've signed up to a, a bigger cause and you know you guys have been really supportive of me um the last few weeks and months and especially roland i, I felt that if i told him this he might feel that i was kind of an enemy within and a, a deceiver but i i 
didn't know this before now yeah. and I'm trying to tell you as early on as I can that something's up and I'm still not just figuring out what is up um I don't know yet but I had a thought I wanted to figure it all out and then tell you but Caliban rightly said that it would be better to tell you guys earlier Maybe yeah so she did suggest that see psychic majors memory oh, majors memory mage. memory majors but there's got to be somebody that can have a route around inside your head. Because there it, it was the memory mages that had the hat, the helmet thing that I wore. Well, that was something that was on the route. Oh, okay. mm. so but obviously our, um, our expedition into Harlequin's mind made me think that there are so many facets of mind that something similar we could do. My own mind might help. Might open up some answers. But at the moment, I, but I think I'm safe. I think I'm still me, and let's just keep going. So that's the stuff I've been looking into. I've been looking into meeting with memory majors. Their prices are a bit high, so I'm kind of saving up towards and looking at risks and things. But I wanted to chat to you guys before I took any action. It also looks like we're on some sort of journey to find out. Who we are, what we were. Oh, that might work it. This is cool. Does Caliban have anything to say? It's a hard one for me to admit. I owed Harley Quinn. Yeah. Um, to when I found out that you'd uh, removed him from the equation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I felt that I owed you something, and you said when we were inside his head that if we, if I helped you get out, we'd be even. Is that still the case? Yeah. I mean, to that, I didn't see you owe me anything to begin with. Still be useful. Um, <clears throat> and now Harlequin is still is back for the moment. Hmm. When I came out of Harlequin's mind with you lots, I've had a vision of a name. Yeah. And I think it's linked to the reason why I owe him. Not so much to why I owe him, but why I was uh, chafing under this debt that he held, me, you know, that he held over me. He took something very, very precious from me. Um, and I think this name is who he's taken that thing that he took from me and given to. Um, it's <clears throat> a memory. A memory that should be more precious, that I don't have it, or a feeling that I... That it should be more precious to me than it is. So I think he's taken emotion from me. Which is the sort of thing that he, you know, he does, did, still does. But I think the name is the person who he sold it to. And I'd kind of like it back. Who did he sell it to? The name is Bentiman Glaive. You looked it up in the Millosphere. Couldn't find anything registered under that name. It must be a maybe some. Well, quite possibly, quite possibly. I hope that's not. I'm sure both not the same. So, um, at some point, I uh, would quite greatly appreciate a bit of help yeah. finding this person. Because if they, if it is a real name and they've hidden themselves, that's fairly powerful magic, which I may not be able to overcome by myself. Um, 
and I'll see what you both can do together and I greatly appreciate some assistance at another time potentially. Dealing with memories and emotions. So, sight and mental damage. If I could try and move those two together to find where the broken part of you is. Yes. Don't see why not. It's not normally the thing I do, but it doesn't sound too far out. Snowball, do you you have any? Um. Because you're more to do with um, inflicting mental damage, aren't you, with your arm? It's this damage that I'm I, more uh, Yeah, I, I, I'd rather you don't damage my brain any more oh. than it has been. It, it, As a character, uh, so I know things can be stolen from you, it's, it's, never it's less of a, Come, let's talk, we'll, we'll figure it all out, and more, I'm going to take out your fingernails with pliers and you will give me the information. <laughs> my... Uh, talents like more in convincing and understanding and and understanding and listening at a surface level and convincing and controlling at a deeper level but it's less of research at the deeper level which is where I think this is heading I think it might be somebody's bedtime I think so too Do you want to um, keep on playing and I think it's recording or let's hang fire? Yeah. yeah. My phone's off and I've got the thing. So, where were we? Uh, Caliburn's just relayed as to. Is it Fentiman? Yeah. And uh, Astraeus was contemplating doing some um, in, trying to find invasive. No, it's not invasive. <laughs> um, I you believe are... the word damage was used. <laughs> yeah. Metaphor. So I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> Say it quite Who needs your mind? Their minds are overrated. <laughs> I have, there, there, there already is the mental damage from where it's been removed. I just want to find it. You you'd be able to see exactly where it, in in my in my mind the scars are from where he took out what he took out. And it's not that you can't remember it actually. Yeah, I can I can. It, it's not a memory that he's taken. It's an emotion that he's taken. So it could be love for someone. It could be pure hate for someone. It's not uh, like with me where they took that memory completely. I don't know. So there's a statement of facts. We know what happened, but Caliban doesn't know what she feels about it. Is she happy? Sad? Oh. But you want to know. It's almost as if we need to find out who Fenton and Blave is. But if there is a picture of whoever said person, whether that invokes whatever that emotion was. It's the same. It's just a name that I pulled from yeah. Harlequin's memory or Harlequin's mind. It's not a name that means anything to me. But you think it has connection with the deal you made for him? With with the deal that yeah. So. Really, there's two ways we can go. What, what did you do in your summer holiday? <laughs> I've packed this up. <laughs> now I've just been um. Sending out feelers of where Harley Quinn might be, try and track him down. Um, searching the web. Are you going to tell the rest of the group what the web told you this morning? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe not yet. Okay. But I've got... Actually, yeah. Yeah. I think I will. And, um... My spiders got back to me this morning. Just asking how much do I know about Mark? What about Mark? What have you asked them to find out for you? Where Harlequin is. 
Just any information. On Harlequin, though, that was your task. Mm. And they've come back with how much you know about Peter Monmouth. Do we know he's dead? Is he very dead? Well, no, he's uh, having a party in the spirit world. Well, what? Yeah. yeah. He was even the same party. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he's dead. He's dead, but most. He's dead. working his way through the spirit world. He's not gone. Okay. Oh. So while you're sat there relaying everything that's that's going on, um, you suddenly hear kind of like a, a, a whoosh, and um, the kitchen doors burst open, and smoke starts coming out really kind of like acrid smoke and you hear Eliana kind of like coughing and spluttering and, and waving a tea towel around trying to get <laughs> and yeah the, 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 the fire alarm starts going off and beeping and she takes the batteries out of it and then it starts and then she hits it with a shoe and then the battery starts making the noise and beeping <laughs> and she can't work out what's what's going on um but she, she comes out a little bit flustered <laughs> Uh, Barbecue pack of scotch. I thought it would make sense to take something that was already scotched and scotch it again. You divide it by zero. Yes. Can't scotch scotch then. <laughs> no, you can't scotch scotch. It, it, it didn't work, uh, and and the kitchen is a little bit ruined. So uh, if if you guys wanted uh, any any food or anything before we went out, whew, I don't know. It's going to be a while. Um, you know, you're welcome to stay, or if you wanted something to eat, you could pop over to Beano's. But uh, it's a bit of a disaster back there. <laughs> so the kitchen is out of options now. I saw a new place. Well, it's not a new place. It's a place. It's just on the way to the um, rail station that heads to the hollows. Want some what kind of place? It's a smokehouse. Okay, you've got enough of that here. <laughs> it's a deliberate smokehouse. <laughs> With tasty smoke. Tasty smoke. <laughs> I'm willing to try that. <gasps> Tell me smoke. it's like a sheesh place and you're like, mmm, bacon and egg sheesh. <laughs> it is now. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't going to be. It was it, it, it was going to be a place where the uh, the the, the long-term smoke stuff has been in the smoker for a hundred years. <laughs> so it's truly barbecued. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, a huge smoke place. That's so cute. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, I've got no I'm going to take that and then maybe we can decide which route we want to take. Maybe we see Hawk Stove Old with his memory things. Yeah. Or always good to be, um, think of the full stomach. What kind of smoke? Issues. Oh, gee, let's say it like it is. <laughs> issues. We all have issues. <laughs> smokehouse. So you're heading to the smokehouse? Smoke yeah. So, Is it um, good? Hmm? Smokehouse. Smokehouse. Okay. I then made a smoke. Um, how she far away? Like like Mary Poppins style, you have to climb the smoke steps to a gateway to a place of enchantment. What? What? You've not <laughs> seen Mary Poppins? I've seen Mary Poppins. There's a gateway to a place of enchantment. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all! <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've seen that Mary Poppins. <laughs> yeah. Mary Poppins is blue. Yeah, so Mohawk and spiky teeth. Right. Is it cool? <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's not too far, it's probably a ride. So are you all back seeing on the back of Caliburn's magical motorcycle? Yeah. Yeah, man. Okay, so no problem. It is only a few minutes yeah. ride away. Um, you manage to find a parking space easy enough and you walk up to the smokehouse, um, which is, when you first look at it, it's completely solid and it just looks like a kind of like gray slate brick kind of building. But as you get close to it, you see that it has kind of got a sort of ephemeral sort of shimmer to it. Um, and when you walk through the door, there's little tendrils of kind of smoke evaporating off it. It's like somebody has made a jelly mould 
but they've used smoke and not jelly. Okay. Looks That's cool. I wonder what happens if you set up a smoke machine in here. <laughs> last, last time they did that, they wound up with a whole new floor. Uh, the, the, um, the person behind the uh, kind of uh, mate of these sort of desk goes, oh no, 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 we, we will provide the smoke, please. Okay. No more of those shenanigans, not again. <laughs> it was an honest mistake. Very well. But I have no more talk of it. Okay, table for four, please. I think you might be right. <laughs> <laughs> one, 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 I've got back to him. I think it's just fair to go. Okay. Uh, he had that a while back and he was bedridden with it. Okay. Um, but the doctor, he says the doctor's going to call round within six hours. So I don't know if that means visit him or just call him back. Okay. Yeah. Um, so um, the, the way to lead you over to. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Booth, yeah. Small booth, and you kind of slide in, and again, um, it's, it's all like sitting on a cloud. Yeah, it, that everything is kind of like in various shades of kind of like grey, and it's all very sort of like tasteful looking. This um, is what Mary Poppins was doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but again, you, you have that that strange feeling. Um, do you know uh, is is it pyroclastic material? I'm not. Uh, maybe I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Pyroclastic ash. It's yeah. the, the stuff that comes out of volcanoes. Yeah. It, it kind of looks like that and it's got this sort of strange quality to it where if you're moving slowly you can almost kind of part the table but if you move quickly it's oh so it's like, oh, like non-newtonian fluids yeah yes. exactly um, non-newtonian smoke non-newtonian smoke <laughs> if the chairs awesome. are made of this if we sit in one place for too long are we going to sink into the chairs the, the chairs are essentially bean bags of smoke <laughs> You can get in. I'm never you leaving. Get out. I'm yeah. never leaving. But it's being that pile of work. Uh, and, and the mate of D comes out and uh, asks, "What can we do for you?" Oh, menu, um, please. Oh, we have the menus here. How um, does it work? Because like, mate D, when they come, they kind of go, "Have you ever been before? Do you know how it works?" This guy <laughs> assumes that you already know how the smokehouse works. I'll have a stack of pancakes. Maple syrup, shrieky bacon, and I believe oh, I have got it written down. What's my what's my normal fifi beverage? Uh, what? A cortado with villa foam and delight sprinkles. And a full American hold the mushrooms but with extra flat packs. Please. Flat packs. Flat packs. Does this look like the sort of establishment that would dilly dally with flat packs? Okay, that's what I said. Hold the flat packs. Mm. Seems very, very snooty. Think. Um, Bruce. Is he played by Tim Curry? He is now. I was going to say uh, <laughs> uh, Bruce, Bruce, really Bruce Campbell in the, the Spider Man. Yes. Yeah. We Which, found out something said about Tim Curry is that he had a stroke in 2012 and he's been wheelchair ridden ever since. Oh my goodness! And I think kept that quiet, like yeah. really quiet, and it was only by pure fluke that I found out. I was like, um, it's, it's 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 the Bruce Campbell. It's the Bruce. Campbell. Yeah, the Bruce Campbell snooty oh, mate. Okay, so that, that, that works just as well. And from Sean. What would you have? Apple, Madame. And your finest tiramisu, please. Very good choice. Excellent. Same season. Hunted freshly this morning. <laughs> um, I spy a couple in another booth, mm -hmm. and one is going to go, oh, and I was like, I'll have what he's having. Ah, uh, fishy soir. <laughs> fishy soir. <laughs> Fancy. I'll have a Guinness. It's a meal in itself. <laughs> The maitre d' looks pained, <laughs> but you are paying customers, so he says he will go and see what he can do. Is there also possible a uh, possibility of a ridiculously thick Bailey's chocolate milkshake with fancy, fancy, <laughs> like you know? The thing is, when you say with fancy something in a fancy place, yes. you immediately not. Oh no, no, no! What would it be? <laughs> Let's fancify this up. <laughs> Be a chocolat whip <laughs> of um, With a sprinkling foam, of... foam, something you know, like that, <laughs> and a snack.
smear. <laughs> How do you want to do a smear, smear with smoke? Milk. <laughs> the, the, the maid, the maid sort of like nods and uh, then walks back to the kitchen, but you can kind of hear him sort of tutting and, and muttering under his breath <laughs> about the rooms at table four. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, with sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> You've really hurt this guy, I haven't I really want that. You have. <laughs> Give this my ass. There's a um, coffee thing. pack that I got to Ross years ago, unfortunately. I tried to use one today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Talking to yourself by danger, lady. <laughs> um, but they've got like a um, a milk thing, you powder and you put it in, you put cold milk with it and you mix it and it makes like slightly liquid dream topping. <laughs> and then you get the coffee and you put a little bit of cold water in it and mix it and then pour it in and you've got an iced latte like just there in front of you. It's wonderful. Okay, so the, the matey goes awesome. off to um to to the kitchen to put your order in for dishes. And we're now moving to the fleeting moment. Ooh. It's the one of uh, mysteries. Hey. Uh, indigo magic is enhanced and uh, grey magic is diminished. Indigo magic, that is divination truth save. Yeah. Uh, incantation. I think also uh, I missed that. So. Uh, indigo magic, the uh, fleeting moment. Is the card so time moves inexorably forward. Sometimes it moves so quickly that we lose track of it. We try to watch, we try to pay attention, and yet it's gone. Mercurially, it slips through our fingers. Time can move so rapidly, in fact, that we can lose time. Look at the clock. It's 6.22. Look again. I'm on a horse. Uh, <laughs> seemingly a moment later, it's 8.05. They say that there was once an hour that came after midnight, but eventually it moved so quickly that it disappeared altogether. If that's true, perhaps it's the fate of all time, and the midnight hour will flit away next. Time is elusive and impossible to hold. No matter how hard you try, it's a force even the gods fear. Time is an illusion. <laughs> it's time kind of doubly so. so. <laughs> no, that's right. The thing is, it's just because we can't see the sun, because it's being filtered <laughs> through all the smoke. Around. I think ultimately, moving forward, it's whether do we want to try and get Harlequin and sorting out what your issue is might help us get to Harlequin quicker or is that an okay to put to one side for the moment and help you because it might make you more feel better about yourself and more I think I think I'm not getting any worse unless something happens that makes me get worse yeah. but I wanted to be honest with you guys because I don't know if something does go worse what the consequences of that are you know i have this feeling that who i was before being the straight laced <sighs> is not that hence why you've ordered spicy true um but also i'm not i'm i don't know why i would have become this so i don't know if there was something deceptive or something i don't know dangerous yeah. so um i'm happy to pause that but <coughs> be aware that things may not allow me to pause that yeah. however part of it is an investigation of my mind and we're going into emotional things of harlequin and caliburn but we could potentially so we could use stuff. yeah we could use similar tactics or something later on oh, okay. and while you're having this discussion the uh, the mate d comes back um Almost as though it's been far too quick for them to prepare this meal properly. Mm. But he comes back with the, the big large dish with the um, all tasty chicken. Tray. He comes out, lifts it open, and presents in front of each of you essentially a miniature smokestack. So uh, like a factory with the oh, okay, uh, <laughs> it's just a tiny what's his face? Just a just tiny <laughs> tiny little kind of it's smokestack. Some... Uh, what's his name? Your creator person. Abron. Abron. It's Abron's head on a plate. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> um, but he, he places them down in front of you uh, and looks at you expectantly. Thank you. Uh, 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 bon appétit. Thank you. And he wanders off. 
I'm gonna watch our um a couple of custom movie things. <laughs> Calabans. Well, yeah. Calabans been here before. No, the, Calabans heard about I've it. Heard oh, this, oh. Heard about this place. Yeah. Is I'm there a smoke coming out of this thing at the moment? Not at the moment. Okay, I will kind of um Fuel the fire. Look around and uh, is, it fire? Is, it? is it so it's again as with everything else in this building it's this kind of like strange sort of oh okay it's a smoke so I scoop my hands underneath it mm-hmm. and then just kind of gradually just smush my face into it and then hello as, <laughs> as you do you see in the corner of your eye yeah. the makes D looking aghast <laughs> you essentially pick up your plate and lick it <laughs> Yeah, and <laughs> he kind of like tuts and and kind of gestures towards um, what the the other uh, patrons are doing, yeah. and along one side of the smokestack, you see that dis- there's discreetly kind of a little depression that you push, and the smokestack hey, begins to. Okay, so it's to puff it out. Okay. Ah. Okay. Sorry. And so as you push it, the the smoke begins to emit smoke okay. in a kind of a robbery sort of way. And you lean in and inhale it, and it's like the best kind of um, full American breakfast that you've that you've ever had. All of the flavors are delicately smoked um, and spiced, even the things that are already supposed to be smoked. Um, your cortado is smoked, and it's all in this kind of atmospheric soup that you. <laughs> and as you breathe it in, you feel that it fills you as as though it was a, an actual meal. In the same way that going to a prosody we get filled up by death. Mm-hmm. It's good. It's good. Eagerly I get to try a smoked Guinness. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, you inhale it and uh, you feel this really strange sensation because alcohol isn't really meant to be breathed in, even in smoked form. So that goes, that goes straight to your head. So it does go straight to your head and you're feeling quite inebriated already. <laughs> so, yeah, you are not thinking all that clearly. It's very flavoursome. It's it's the best Guinness that you've ever had, but it's quite poor for me. It's gone immediately to your uh, to your senses. I mean, to be fair, if you remove my arms and legs, I'm just a nugget. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a I don't have much body for the alcohol to go around. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> Sit, wait, you're not going to be Thomas Mobile anymore, you should nugget. <laughs> you see that thing? So, um, everybody else has sampled there. Smoky dinners. Okay. How did, how did we sample our smoky dinners? We're pushing our face into it. You, you no. push a little thing on the side and the smokestack starts to emit actual smoke, which is your meal. And yours was the vichyssoise. Yeah. And it was absolutely fantastic. And mm. these two, because they've inhaled alcohol, are feeling a little bit squiffy. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, the smug waiter comes back over and kind of clears your place. Oh, well, will there be anything else? I go, coffees and mints for all. Please. Very good. And um, off he goes to go and get some coffees. Apparently he got <coughs> two trifle flavoured ice cream. What? Um, have you come to any decisions about what you want to do? I think trying to... A lot of things revolve around um Harlequin. Oh yeah. <coughs> I say <coughs> sorry about that. Um try and uh, learn about Harlequin Ray maybe question him well what's left of him. Oh for you so we can get back and kill him. Maybe <laughs> it might be worth us. No, I tried to hurt him. Before. It might be worth us trying to call help Lord Mark back from the spiritual world to question him 
and let him know. Because it did look like they were friends before. And you that's know. one of the reasons why it made me so angry. Did Chalkboard Mart say who killed him? Yeah, he's yeah. the one who told us it was Harlequin. Because beforehand it was just that. Um, sorry, this is this is me reminding you rather than kind of um, yeah. chipping in. Um, the Logos didn't really understand the difference between different humans. Mm. But I had <clears> a really good incantation that mm -hmm. they let me see. Yeah, what's going on? And so yeah. yeah. So we saw her, yeah. Um, because while you're chatting, the, the waiter comes in and places a kind of a bun flask of coffee in, in the middle of the table. Um, but coming off the bun flask are kind of like the pipes that you normally see on a hookah. Mm. No rush, take your time. Because it says, How much do we really know about Chalkboard Mark? Maybe we can blunt and question him, <laughs> you know. Uh, plus, I haven't spoken to Chalkboard Mark in a while. He's my friend. I did kill a man for him. <laughs> well, it not didn't part take. him. But <laughs> death did not become him. Instead, instead of like full on saying that Harley Quinn's back, potentially like hint at the idea and see how he would respond <sighs> to it, maybe. Mm. Yeah. But we wouldn't do that here. I think we would need to go somewhere. Two ways we can get that done. Either we go for the pail. Or I can summon him. Because he does say he likes coming to ride you. To ride me as such. <laughs> so I don't mind doing that if necessary. And getting to the pail is a lot more expensive than having him come in. What's your Wow. You. Jump about sunset. Oh, unbelievably. <laughs> Your bike can do it. My bike could do it once. Oh. I thought it was an ongoing skill. It, it needs a tune up every 15 suns. I can. In theory. I can take us to the pale. But would it just be a bit easier? Given Mark here. Yeah. Be because going to the pale needs visas, passports, permission. And we'd have to go through the shadow. Oh, oh I didn't know that. Yeah. There's the indigo. That's the grey. And that's the pale. And I, ca I can't myself jump from one to the other or oh. there is a spell i've heard of that would allow me to take us all from one son to the next it's been on my wish list for ages i've just not been able to afford it um <coughs> but if it's not a matter of needing time, then in theory I could. Is going to the pale to talk to Mark more likely to be fruitful or easy, easy to talk to him? It, what makes I, it different? I, I think it's probably going to be easier if we're here and call him here. Yeah. Um, I think we should go back to the room where I used to do that after mm -hmm. hours. Okay. So you certainly get the bill with the maitre d'. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Um, well, thank you for your patronage. Please don't come again. Uh -huh. You ain't getting You can't stop then. me. <laughs> <laughs> so much for your tip. I'll get this meal for free, otherwise I'll go in here for breakfast, lunch <laughs> and dinner. How much one do you women? <laughs> I'm drunk, I've just inhaled a lot of Guinness. Do, do you really want me to go and, and, and fetch the chef? To say thank you, yeah. That's the best Guinness I've ever had. 
He turns off rather huffily and, and wanders off. Because so is Major D that's being a douche. <laughs> or you can leave in a huff. If that's too soon, you can leave in a minute and a half. <laughs> Don't want to huff in here. Blow the smoke away. Blow your house, house down. down. <laughs> Dinner for wolf. <laughs> so you're heading back to the road? Yeah. Just on my safe to contact. <gasps> well, if the rose has got Roland's wards against ghosts and spirits. Oh yeah, maybe not a good idea. And <gasps> you're not actually a summoner. Oh. You. There are ways that. Then this is called a, a local spirit to inhabit your body. Call upon. Yeah, they had to be in your area the first time. Oh. So we'll probably last, last time, to last time we're at he Penn, was knocking. We're at Penn and Tellers, and he was there trying to get in. Yeah. <laughs> Would be considered a master thief. You can go to Penn and Tellers. Oh. See Terence Spider. Oh. You're mostly haunted, slightly haunted sort here. Oh yeah. There's ghosts bound to that. <laughs> Couldn't you persuade one of them to, to get a try. message to try? Well, what? It might take a little bit longer. But I'm not. I'm going to know when he's there because he's yeah. Cause he's banging on your psychic back doors. Yeah. <laughs> so are you going to ask one of the ghosts? Okay. Um, so yeah, we'll go back to. Pen and tellers. Mm -hmm. In fact, we've got a park to do it in. You do it out in public. Yeah. Where there's nothing around that you could trash if the local ghost that you pick up is. A dick. <laughs> or is it one specific ghost? Or, or is it one specific ghost that inhabits your sort here? You do it to ask him. Yeah. Do you know the ghost that inhabits your sort here? Has he had any dealings with him yet? Um, Not directly, because he tends to just sit in my house. And moan. Like a cat and just push all yeah. the things off his chest. He is, he's a total dick. He'll just go around and knock stuff off. But, you know, me and the sorter have been together for a little while now. We should be alright if he wants to behave and live in my flat a little bit longer. Then instead of going out in the nowhere, he'll, he'll comply. Okay, so are you going to a park to do this? Um, I. We'll go back to my place mm -hmm. because the sortie is at home. And you want to summon the ghost at home on your own? Well, everyone can come with me if they want, but yeah. Let's just, just go back to your house. Yeah. Okay, so you, you know, it's wait. near where yeah, it's, a, it's above Penn and Tellers anyway. So, um, Caliban mm -hmm. drives them, and it's just as well that neither of these two are driving because you're a little bit. Ooh. Something a ghost was drunk. Oops. We can't take the bad idea anymore. Because... Nah, nah. I, I got, I got. Watch this. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go oh, for a beer. <laughs> <laughs> to the spirit. Oh my. I'm gonna go from here to here. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I got it. Yeah, we've invented these hoods and then allow you to travel through time at, at, at the speed of regular time, I guess. <laughs> so you um, head back to, to Pen and Tellers, you go upstairs um, into your place and you retrieve your sortier and you summon the ghost. So, um, just make a sorcery check for me, please. If the uh, spell is called on a local spirit to inhabit your body for one minute. Also mm -hmm. restores one wound. Blah, 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 blah. So, so it costs me. Oh, this is your forte ability, yeah. isn't it? One. Sorcery. I am going to pop passion defense. You got um, it! I see incoming attacks before one meter before they strike. I automatically succeed on any two defense actions. My choice was the spell is active. It repeats over time normally, but or if I use it as two attacks, whichever comes first. 
in case ghosts start throwing things around the room, I ain't gonna get hit. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're gonna have the ghost come and inhabit you. Okay, you perform. So you guys are gonna have to ask us the questions. Just to... You um, perform um, the incantations, mm -hmm. and suddenly your eyes kind of go very, very dull, uh, and then they kind of like flash back and all of a sudden. These are new. This is very new. Ooh. Hey guys, what are you doing in my house? Oh, um, we are friends of the lady whose body you are temporarily borrowing. Okay. Um, I don't think we've ever actually met. Um, her name is Adrian Hook. Uh, this is Stobald. This is Astraos and I'm Caliburn. Pleased to meet you. Top of the morning to you. Um, but is she let him have a beer? I thought it was chocolate milk. No, nah, it's the, the ghost of the... Sort of, because we're trying to get uh, him to come to us. To send a message to, because that might be the easiest way, because we can't directly send him one specific You've got experience. one minute with it. Um, so. We kind of actually wanted to ask... Sorry, I didn't catch your name. I'm Shoeless Joe. Shoeless Joe. Cool. Pleased to meet you, Joe. Oh, that takes me back. Yeah. Great. Um, kind of actually need a favour. Are you tied specifically to this house, or do you have contacts in the pale? Oh yeah, I meet up with the guys in the pale all the time. Nothing's beyond the pale if you catch my drift. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. There's a guy. We're trying to get in contact with his ghost. He's been dead maybe a month, two months now. So he should still be there. Yeah, fairly, well, apparently last time we spoke to him, um, he was still here, but he was headed to the Endless Party. The Endless Party. Oh, one of those. Yes. Okay. Um, he's, uh, he's got, his, his name's Chalkboard Mark. Chalk. Cheeseboard Mike. Chalkboard Mark. He's quite distinctive. He doesn't have a face. It's just a, a blackboard and he writes on it. He's... I know the very fellow. Yeah, he's he's dab hand at charades. He just writes the answers down. Um, Time is money. What do you need? Well, we'd like him to come and ride Hawk for a little bit because we've got some questions from him. I think what we'll possibly do because you're here most of the time, aren't you? In this in this house, or is mm. it just in the sortier? Mostly the sortier, but you know. You yeah. get restless. How do you get off at home train and stuff? And, and, any, anyway, that's a question for another time. Um, yeah, we'd like him to come here so Hawk can do the same thing for him that you do for yourself. Give me a day. I'll see what I can do oh, for you. Oh, that'd be absolutely fantastic. And all things being well, she might let you ride her once more. Once or twice more. Oh, I'd that's expect fair. so. I'd expect so. The things that I'm going to do with this... Oh, you never... And at that point, it's, uh, and <laughs> no, Hawk is back. And now I feel super uh, drunk. I, 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 you're suddenly feeling super. fine. You're sort of like semi-euphoric. Whatever it was you were drinking. She it restores one mood or refills my set, one of my pools. So yeah, I feel fabulous. Ugh. So Shoeless Joe has agreed to go to the pail. To find the mark for you. We've met the ghost that lives in your sort here. What's he like? He's called Sho Shoeless Joe. Seems like quite a nice chap. Cool. Um, might have promised your body for a couple more sessions. What price I pay for what I do. But he only gets one minute, so <laughs> what can you do in a minute? Hey. <laughs> so, um, what yeah, he said it, it could take a, a, a day or so. So, well, we've done everything that we can do within it, I think. Mm -hmm. So, um, I guess now the best thing is just to see if any. 
keep an ear to the ground to see if anyone's heard or things that could potentially be Harlequin doing the things that he likes to do best. So I reckon a night at Penn and Teller's, Penn and Teller's listening in because it's where he used to hang out. And okay. Yeah. Because I need to work. Because <laughs> I've not been there for a while. <laughs> so, so you make your way downstairs um, into Penn and Teller's and it's kind of the usual crowd. Um, I will be working a shift. Yeah, um, it's it's not a particularly busy night, but you know there's enough people in in and about. Um, can everyone make some perception uh, interaction checks for me? I'm gonna spend an interaction with Benny. Mm -hmm. Do I not get something kind of? I've got born awareness. Mm -hmm. My perception is greater than their awareness. Yeah, crap. That's okay. So uh, we've got a, a two and a six. Uh, four and twenty six. No, sorry, interaction. Interaction. So okay. So eight for perception and a seven for interaction. And a one on the point of sausage, but also a bit of knowledge about. Stuff. Okay. Would stuff. my memorization help me? Because we used to come to Penn Teller's an awful lot. Not specifically, because you, you're you're not um, unless you want to go and start kind of really deliberately asking questions. It's more you're just kind of like sitting in and kind of eavesdropping and, and, yeah, and, and listening getting to the vibe the, of the place. Getting the vibe. So um, you can all tell that things are a bit subdued. It's not as kind of vibrant as it used to be. There's still jokes and there's still, you know, talk and there's um, still banter. Um, but quite often people would start get, start a story. Oh, you remember that time when? And they'd kind of like catch Caliban in particular, and then they kind of like they would just trail off and not talk about it anymore. Uh, and then they, you know, very deliberately change the subject uh, to something else. It's a pretty obvious elephant in the room that nobody really wants to talk about. Caliburn is the elephant in the room. Something to do with Caliburn is the elephant in the room. Or he misses. Hmm. Is it, have I overheard anything from people coming up to the bar? And... You got the, the eight, didn't you? Yeah. Um, I know what it is. I've just got a bit older. Um, but, uh, yeah. yeah. So I'll go upstairs to the flats. Leave that up there. I reckon. What's the name? Russell. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. Uh, um. And then come back downstairs, and hopefully that would have changed it. Hopefully. No, it's still yeah. still yeah. that very kind of um, thing. Nobody's sort of like unfriendly, mm -hmm. but the, the vibe that you get is when um, somebody is, you know, a friend of somebody else and that other person has done something that, you know, is <coughs> like, oh, 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 that was quite funny. Oh, oh, no, we can't mention that because, you know, so-and-so is... Is it, is it because I kind of got rid of... This director is a Caliban. Oh, thing is, is that everyone was all right once Harley Quinn, they don't know what happened to him, just know he died, didn't they? So it was just sad that he'd gone. But if he's been spreading, saying something in regards to whatever it was that... Well, remember, nobody knew what had happened to so Harley Quinn. Just... He just stopped turning up. Yeah. And then maybe he started turning up again. Or spreading, putting stuff in oh. people's... He's, he's yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. whisper it. You know what? I've actually got a friend in this pub. Mm. I've got it written down. Your huh? Other elbow. Hey! <laughs> I'm going to give you the elbow of despair. <laughs> I've got Terence Alcoholic Spider as a friend. Okay. <laughs> he does. I'm going to ask <laughs> Terence, uh... What's up? What's going on? Who's that? Oh, it's, it's me, it's, it's a sheriff. It's Bernard Black. A yeah, <laughs> while ago. Huh? It was he Bernard Black, so I don't think... Oh, I, he is I, now. 
Uh, I can With the thing and the and the noises and the face yeah. and the and the shove it up your ass. No, <laughs> get the last one. Metal legs. But only two because you're weak and you don't have eight like me, which is the best. Yes. <laughs> what do you want? Why is everyone so moody? What's up? <laughs> you know it. So, <laughs> I don't know what. One, two, three, go. <laughs> it's Thursday. Is it? This is Saturday. I thought that you don't have enough drink in you. Here, have these uh, flies. Wait, sorry. Dip them into the leftover pools of alcohol beverages. Oh, cheers for the top of the breakfast. Oh, hair of the dog. And what was you wanted? Everyone seems to be a bit off. Like, they go, they, they start to tell a joke and then. Gone. Oh, that'd be your friend over there. Why? What did she do? Oh, well, she hasn't done anything, you know. So why is everyone upset? Her friend did something. What did her friend do? Oh, really bad. Which, oh. which friend? Which, one? which friend? Oh, Harlequin. Oh. What, what Wait, he did he come back? Here? Yes. No. Maybe. With a red thing in him. I don't remember a red thing. When was this? Like, oh, within oh, the room. Do you have any more of these delicious biscuits? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just smashes up. Sandwich! Of <laughs> sandwich! Could, could have had a ham sandwich. We, we did pick <laughs> Breaks off a bit of the coaster. <laughs> oh. No. He came in a while ago. Yesterday. No. Last month. No. So, sometime. He was in. I don't know. I've drank since then. Continue to drink every day with a Y. With a Y? Yeah. Does today have a Y in? Probably. Then you need to drink. Okay. Give me some drink. Pass more flies. <laughs> oh, this me birthday. Oh, sorry. So, what was it you were after? Was Harlequin in? Yes. This week? Maybe. What Before. did he do? What did he do? What did he do? Oh, he came in. He said something to a couple of people, not seen them before, uh, but it's been pretty down and dire since. Uh. Hmm. Thank you. The, the, the stone face people? He's sucking the joy out of the cog because he has a hate, a seed of hate just inside him. Oh. Oh. Okay, Space we need to get some joy. karaoke going on in this place because they <laughs> love it. How, how much am I allowed to sink into a spell? Six. Six. Not only six. <laughs> so what, what, what do you want to do? I want to weave together joy and space. And you want to make this a happy place. Yes. A happy place. <coughs> <coughs> Where's Roland when you need him? <coughs> I'm drunk. I'm what? feeling generous. Joy, space. Where's um, Roland? What's Roland going to do? I don't know. Some kind of make protection else seem barrier. Happy by these, these are by my happy bullets. Yeah. <laughs> protection barrier of sadness. Is, is he just going to make everybody else seem joyful by comparison? Yes. Wait, I've got a hundred pounds. I've got leftover money. I'm going to buy it for the trick. Many drinks. Okay, you, you take it up to, to Hawk at the bar and Hawk looks at it and looks at you and looks at it and looks at you. <laughs> Legal tender? Oh. <laughs> uh, Hawk, a hundred... Is a hundred crystal? Good for... A hundred crystal is a lot of drinking. <laughs> We're making this a very happy place. <laughs> I climb up on the to not die of alcohol poisoning. <laughs> Just give me 20 crystals, that should be plenty. Drunk um, Strauss would give everyone a hundred because Drunk Strauss wants everyone to be happy. I climb up on the bar and I'm like, free drinks for everybody! Woohoo! Can I do a control the multitude? Because mm -hmm. I've got a thing that I can just say. Because it's basically like an internal voice, isn't it? And it kind of tells them. And it, they're like, I am happy. Just uh, self affirmations are positive things that mm. they're thinking about themselves. They seem to perk up a little bit, but these are your kind of midweek. 
day drinkers. So <laughs> there's a limit to how happy they're going to be. <laughs> but it's, it's personal self affirmation. They're kind of going, I'm not that fat. I'm. <laughs> So yeah, the atmosphere, the atmosphere lifts, lifts a little bit, but it's it's not exactly a, a raucous. It's not cheers. No, it's it's definitely Moe's. <laughs> and everybody is Barney Gumpel. <laughs> hey, Harper. That was almost Doctor Nick. Doctor Gumpel. Doctor Gumpel. I think we found a potential way of tracing him. I know who would be perfect for this. Marvin. He's always depressed. Get him out of the house. We'll just send him everywhere where he's really... When, it, when he can sense somewhere more miserable than he is, he knows there's something wrong. And you know what? That might actually make him happy. Can you come back, please? We have the untrustworthy mirror, so it's the four of mysteries. Uh, gold is enhanced and silver is diminished. Untrustworthy mirror. Colors. Hmm? Why do we have our colors? <laughs> and different each, spells each of spell God. has got a difference. But less so with weavers. No, um, when weavers cast spells. Um, part of the negotiation with the with the guide as to what colour spell <laughs> it is. So effectively, if you are <coughs> casting a damage spell, it's probably going to be red. If you're casting mental damage, it's going to be a blue spell. If you're healing somebody or doing a movement spell, then it's going to be green. <sighs> so the untrustworthy mirror. Can we trust the mirror? Shadow thinking would say yes, but wisdom gained in the actuality says otherwise. When no one can see your reflection, is it really yours? If you have to look in a mirror to confirm your own appearance or identity, how do we know it's not lying? The world is full of illusion and deception. Believing your own eyes isn't always wise, and believing what's in the mirror is a step removed even from that. Cheery. So you're sat there kind of like soaking up the atmosphere of the bar and trying to, you know, get um, as much information as possible. And kind of as a group, you all seem to notice there's one guy sort of like sat at the end of the bar um, who you don't really recognise. Um, he's facing away from you and looking into the um, mirror that's behind the bar. Um, and you can see that his eyes aren't leaving your table. And um, can everybody make a uh, uh, b -b 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 perception uh, roll for me? Mm-hmm. Then point the perception. Nice. Eight. Nine. Uh, five and a day. So you two eagle eyed people spot that on the back of his right hand. You see that is tattooed on the back of his right hand. Do we know him? No. I'm not going to remember this. Um, oh, Nineteen. Nineteen. And he sat there quite calmly in the mirror. He's wearing kind of... Um, in the mirror? He's looking at the mirror. Oh. And so you're looking at his kind of reflection. Oh. Um, and... He's he's kind of wearing you know like a, a pair of black jeans and, and a black shirt, and a long black coat, and he's got a kind of Matthew McConaughey kind of vibe. Saying, hey, um, and he's he's not saying anything. He's, he's not bothering anything. He's got us. he's got a, a, a kind of a, a glass of whiskey in front of him that doesn't seem to diminish, even though he's been sipping at it. Um, and there's a kind of vague, faint sort of like smile um, on his lips. I'm going to use the sight. Is he? Um, is he human with this lay angel or demon? He's none of them. Or other magical being. 
that this is another magical being. You haven't seen too many of these, um, at least in this kind of form, um, but this looks like a kind of projection, an avatar of, of the creature. So it's really here, but it's not really like a, a, a telepresence. Kind of, like a force ghost, if you like. Mm -hmm. That's a bit like... Is um, it Harley Quinn in a different form? Satara Bar? No, because Harley Quinn was a person, right? He was... Yeah. And she, she, she's just like... Uh, yeah, yeah, but it's this, this, this could be... It. Ten minute rest. Just kind of sit. Actually, no, no, because the projection or tele astral thing doesn't necessarily have to be. Because um, the thing in the previous hate cyst we visited was, was that like projection or almost physical, or projection that, that became physical thing. That physical thing. Mm. The eyes in the mirror have noticed you noticing him. Mm -hmm. And he raises his glass in a kind of like little mock salute. Yeah. Gives a sardonic smile. Puts his glass down. And then loudly enough for everybody in the bar to hear, without it without him shouting, his voice just seems to carry. Now. And everybody in the bar, all of the patrons, they suddenly stop what they're doing. Glasses are dropping, pull cues kind of end there. Conversation stopped mid-flow. And all of the bodies start to get this sickly kind of pallor and they kind of begin to sort of like fade. And so instead of just the kind of locals that you've seen in Penn and Teller, they kind of shrink in and become almost mummified zombie looking creatures with sunken hollow eyes. And they all turn around to look at you and they all look very hungry. <laughs> Do we, did, these zombie things like the things we fought in the original hate cyst? Not exactly, but they've got a very zombie feel to them. Did we know them before? Like, because you worked mm. there, were there regulars that she knew? Yeah. Were they people, or were they just like a renter crowd? Oh shit, he turned my, turned my locals into fucking zombies. And I think we're going to leave it there. What a fucking <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. I oh, know, I reckon it's Harlequin. Projected. I don't know what that means. 19. 19. Oh, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> session it's Shaun of the Dead time. <laughs> <laughs> They're in the pub. We yeah. need to be out of the pub. There's a gun above the bar. Yeah. From underneath the bar. Well th there might be a gun behind the bar. We'll find out next week. But we, we definitely know where Calibre and Sword isn't. It's upstairs. It's okay. We don't have to deal with this. I could just get outside away. But That's there is the back stairs good. up to the flats. But before I bought this one don't yeah. forget I can summon one. Hey. I can, I, I can, but if that's not an issue, it'll just use me some of my um <laughs> You bastard. <laughs> yeah, that's more I did clip I did clock the time and I thought, okay, it's fight with the Oh okay. <laughs> <Can he> go? <laughs> So, Joy, despair, how are you feeling? Pretty despair right now. <sighs> I'm feeling I'll be brutally honest, I'm glad I got a bit off my chest about <laughs> why I'm doing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I 
almost dare say I'm part way oh, um, this whole repaint of that arc that I've got has become a bit more I don't know if complicated is the right word but it's not just I owe him a lot of money mm. it's a question of I owe him a lot of hurt so I'm not sure if the art needs to be changed to <coughs> like a recovery sort of thing okay um, but yeah I think I've, I've, I've gone a little bit further down that one there and one of the things with the repay a debt arc is to kind of work out how you can resolve the issue mm. and by asking for help yeah uh, right. uh, so there's a joy and uh, what does it get for moving on the arc back um, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. they have more play than now in America so stress stress is feeling great <laughs> I got to Zombies, go yay! meet my friends I got to have a drink and a meal at the same time such is the magic of Guinness such is the magic of Guinness I got to catch up with like my favourite spider Terence the alcoholic Love um, yeah, this end bit isn't too, too great, <laughs> but stress is a little bit of a show off. Hmm. These are free targets to me. You're, you're meeting up with your friends and are now going to kill them. Oh, no. I'm killing a load of free tar zombies with my friends. Like, These free zombies that you've been drinking with and buying drinks and... Terence is now a little eight-legged zombie. Oh, now he feels right in the field. Uh, it's not tough, but it's bad. <laughs> you can have both. You can have both. It's it's it's. Don't be mixed about today. <laughs> when well, I said that everybody in the pub kind of turns into a zombie, that well, meant everybody. everybody. Can, can, can. Terence to just be too drunk to be a functioning zombie. He's a drunk he's a drunk zombie. He's, he's a, a drunk zombie. Drumby. Everybody else everybody has like tight. brains and he's like brains ale. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! It, 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 he's not gonna be just a drunk zombie, he's turning to rob zombie. Something to the bitches and burn to the witches and something. <laughs> there <laughs> Dig through the trenches and Going through the calories and slamming the back of my drag. Jula! Jula! Snowball! Uh, being quite positive that I'm um, open up a bit more. Um, yeah, I think more positive than anything. It's not despair so much as fear. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel kind of good because we spoke to what's his face. I was gonna go take short board mark for us. And it was a successful summoning. Make a note for one more joy for we are out of joy. Not allowed to be in the I'll tell you what, do you wanna take one of your joy tokens out of there? Um, uh, where's where's the wrong one sheet? Just take all of the I'll make a note of how much I've got and That's take all, all right. the tokens. Not it down here, it's oh. Enjoy. Maybe <laughs> another I joy. Enjoy. Enjoy. What do you think of that? 5GP goblins. Hey, I've got 1D4 golden intelligence 3. I've got 1D4 golden intelligence 3. Oh no, we're mooks. Every <laughs> sexy <laughs> shoe has got a 4. Don't tell him they're all 1 XP. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Sorry, it's a little bit disjointed today. I'm so too. Um.